गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिका वै सदालय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सदभक्ताय नमो नम बद्धे बितनुते भक्ति मूर्खमावर्त श्रुति यत्कृपा तमहंग बंदे प्राण गोपाल कंप्रभु जय निताज हरिओ today we'll listen some part from the beginning of bilapa kushmanjali it's very important for us to know how we have to serve to sri radha govinda which mood we have to establish develop inside of our heart and sriman mahaprabhu introduce us actually this mood and that mood of manjari mood but who are the manjari why sriman mahaprabhu introduce this mood to us for serving because the most intimate of srimati radharani very nicely it is said the manjari sant sakhis shakya sri radhikaya brjo kumudo vidhur ladini nama shakti sharansh prema valya ishalaya dalo pushpadi tulya satulya shittayam krishna leelamrita rasanichair चंत्याम पुष्याम मुपुष्याम यातल्यासा शशे का शतगुण मधिकम यत्यन्न चित्रम शंति यत्यन्न चित्रम इट इज सेड इफ वी जस्ट इमेजिन श्रीमती राधारानी इज द क्रीपर ऑफ श्री कृष्ण प्रेम सो द मंजरीज एंड सखीज द द लीव्स flower fruits of that creeper of krishna premalata so all the manjaris you can say that the part somewhere it is said in brindavan mahimamrit also somehow it is said if the wave is coming so much in the ocean one after one one after one so after some time we can see the foam on the wave what is the foam you can say the romanch that means bumble whose bombs of ocean that foam so in brindavan mahimamrita in radhara shashudhani they describe the manjari is that the form of shrimati radharani who is the ocean of sri krishna prem so that is why shriman mahaprabhu the most highest way to serve sri radha govinda he introduce that is actually the ungiven gift to the kali jeevas in what is the cause of shriman mahaprabhu's appearance urva goswami described very nicely anor pita charin chirat kurunaya batirna kalo samar pay tumunna to jala rasang sha bhakti sriyam hari purata sundar duti kadam basandi pita sada hridaya kandare spurato vaksha chinandan he appeared here in this world for what to offer to give us something which was not given before by anyone not any bhagavat swarup so which is was that that was this manjari mood the very special and it is said 
as our love lover as our child so he introduced sir krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu he introduced for that he appeared to teach us to give us those highest mood of braj to whom to everyone because for krishna it was mentioned something it was kind of condition For Krishna's appearance, it is said in the scriptures, Anugrahaya Bhaktyanang Manushang Deva Masaritya. Why he appeared? Anugrahaya Bhaktyanang. To be merciful to his devotees, Bhaktyanang. And Manushang Deva Masaritya, there is also condition. They must be in human form. Not to the animals. Sometimes, in Vrindavan, sometimes Krishna also appears. Uh, shared his love to the plants trees also we can see but in mahaprabhu's appearance there is no condition that means everyone can get that prema not only the human beings also the animals also the trees plants <coughs> everyone so this was the mood of the highest things and we have to follow something we have to follow that path because it is also said there why you should follow shrimati radhara tasya kshana darshanato mriyante sukhena tasya sukhino bhavanti snigdhya परम ये कृतपुण्य पुंजा प्राणेश्वरी पृष्ठ गुणान भजितवान इन स्तवावल इट इज सेड दे आर मूव्ड इट्स अ वेरी कनेक्टेड विद श्रीमती राधा रानी नॉट इवन विद कृष्णा बिकॉज़ इट्स द मोस्ट इजी टू वे टू अटेंड कृष्णा टू सर्व कृष्णा बिकॉज़ इफ वी जस्ट वर्शिप कृष्णा If we just uh, invite Krishna, Krishna will not come because then Krishna will search: is there everything okay? If their condition is clear, but if we just go to Srimati Radharani, if Srimati Radharani will introduce us, so Krishna will come. Krishna will accept, and will be accepted first. Not even by Srimati Radha. First, will will be accepted by senior manjaris, Rupa Manjari, Ananga Manjari. They will engage us in the seva of Srimati Radha. They will engage us to the seva of Jugal Kishor, to Krishna, to Srimati Radha. So their mood is really connected. manjari mood is really connected they cannot get the separation from simati radhari not even for one moment that's why bilapa kushmanjali it's very important the sadhaka sadhaka when uh, sadhaka will practice so they will get everything that realization of their meeting so but sometimes when they cannot see the lila so maybe for some moments it will be like one era one yuga very long that one moment will be because it's the nature of love you know jugai tam nimeshe no sri krishna birahe nami when there is separation if 
it is uh, from the heart of Srimati Radharani, if she can say that when Krishna is not with me, so that separation is intolerable for me. One moment, it's I'm feeling it's uh, like one era, one yuga. So if it will happen with Srimati Radharani for Krishna, who can only increase who can only develop his mood until Modanaksha Mahabhav. So what will happen? Who can just climb on that point of Madanaksha Mahabhav, Srimati Radharani, when Manjaris will realize that separation with Srimati Radharani? Maybe for one moment. So not only one you, maybe thousands of yugas they will feel that separation. So here in Bilapa Kusumanjali, here it's happening with Tulashi Manjali, Raghunath Dasa Goswami. He is very special. In his Vrindavan Lila, he was Rati Manjali, Sri Rati Manjali, and she had also another nickname, Tulashi Manjali. And she was very intimate of Srimati Radha. Really very intimate of Srimati Radharani. Most intimate pastimes, Tulashi Manjari is there. Most of the intimate pastimes, Srimati Radharani, one Tulashi Manjari must with her. And that Tulashi Manjari now here, Raghunath Dasa Goswami, and now in his practice, in his Maran, sometimes that Lila is disappeared. So he start to Will that separation and he connect himself with not only alone, also with Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari actually, uh, Rupa Goswami Pad actually he was not his guru, you know. So many person they are saying that uh, Rupa Manjari was his guru. No, not that. His guru was Yadunandan Acharya. And also that time, at the same time, Balaram Acharya also was there, from whom he got most guidance. But after Sriman Mahaprabhu, he just entered in Aprakat Lila. So then, before he will close his Leela, Sriman Mahaprabhu, he gave him uh, one Giriraj Shila and one Gunjamala. So, only to get that both, Raghunath Das Goswami, he just realized that, okay, Mahaprabhu, uh, by this Gunjamala, he offered me to the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. And he mentioned something that I should worship Govardhan. So I should, I'll go Govardhan, and, but I cannot feel his separation. So from Govardhan, I'll jump and I'll commit suicide. He went to Vrindavan. He went to Vrindavan and there First, he got the association of Sanatan Goswami Pad and Rupa Goswami Pad. Mainly Sanatan Goswami Pad, he realized that maybe he is going to do something wrong. Maybe uh, that separation of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he got so much pain, he is suffering for that. So maybe he decided to leave his body. Sanatan Goswami Pad convinced him not to do that. And from Rupa Goswami, actually he got that all knowledge about bhajan. Rupa Goswami, he established that very pure mood. He remind, he remind everything from this previous Leela of Braj Leela. Then, he jump in that bhajan. He jump in that bhajan and it was very deep. It was very deep. He start to take only that uh, buttermilk, you know. 
before just after Mahaprabhu he left he closed his pastimes she was taking only some fruits and water and milk but after he came to Radha Kund he started to take only that butter milk and from his realization he started to describe all the granthas so one of them that granthas is Bilapa Kushmanjali Lamentation it's very beautifully named Lamentation when we know that lamentation means the pain is there pain is there so how the lament how the lamentation is like flowers the manjari mood it's like that which is coming out from the heart of the manjari sakhis their realization of love for krishna and simati radhani it's really like flower when they will start to just clear their lamentation from their heart so it's like sing singing we know there is gopi geet what is that is there any singing in gopi geet in raslila no it was also actually lamentation they were crying all the sakis they were crying for krishna because krishna disappeared from that place then why should he say it? it's gopi geet singing because whatever will come out from their heart if it is connected with prema very high prema that is singing so that's why here when the tears every drop drop of tears was falling from the eyes from raghunath das goswami rathi manjari so he offered that tears of separation hey radhe it's not my tears the flowers i'm offering to your lotus feet anjali so all those here that lamentation the tears because in the separation sometimes they are also feeling that meeting sometimes in the separation also they are realizing that meeting with samati radharani with sri krishna the sakis and manjaris manjaris they are realizing the meeting with samati radharani maybe they are talking with Srimati Radharani and Srimati Radharani is in front of them and they start to talk. So, in separation, they are also feeling sometimes that Ananda, oh Srimati Radharani is there in front of me. So, that's why Raghunath Das Goswami, he said, it is not the lamentation, it's my worshipping by the flowers of my that realization of separation of Srimati Radharani to her lotus feet and those all lamentation is like flower so that's why he named this Bilapa Kusum Anjali Kusum means flowers Anjali means full of hand full of hand flowers is offering to the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani and at the beginning, first, he is remembering his that guru, not his Diksha guru, from whom he was convinced to do bhajan in Radha Kund, from whom he got all those guidance about that Manjari Shadhana, Rupaka Manjari. Because in his Purva Lila, in Vrindavan Lila, Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari, most of the time they will be together. Most of the time because these two Manjari was most intimate of Srimati Radharani. So all those secret things they will do. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi Manjari. 
So here, sometimes in his meditation, Raghunath Das Goswami, he was memorizing his previous Leela. It's coming sometimes. And whatever is coming to his mind, to his heart, is just describing here. Tvam rupa manjari shakhi prathita apureshmin tungsha parasya vadanam nahi pasya siti bimbadhare kshatam anagata bhartikaya yatye vyadhai kyam tachuk punjave pungavena His offering, his respect, pranam to rupa manjari in this way. In this loka he described very nicely the relation between Sri Krishna, uh, Srimati Radharani and Manjari. Because it is said, which one sloka I mentioned at the beginning, isn't it? Shittayan Krishna Lilamrita Rachanoi Jatullasa Shaseka Satoguna Madhikam Shanti Yatyanna Chitra So when there is the plant so we will get flowers, fruits, everything from the branches but when we will give water or the food of the plant so where we will give? To the root, isn't it? So, if we are offering everything there in the room, so the flowers they will bloom, the fruits they will be more tasty, is not. So, I have not to offer food or water to the branches, to the fruit or flower. We are offering where? In the room. So the relation between Manjari and Srimati Radharani is like that. They are getting the same pleasure what Srimati Radharani is getting with Sri Krishna. Same. And it is said, Shasekat Satoguna Motikam. How much pleasure Srimati Radharani will get? Associating with Krishna, the Manjaris, they will get that same pleasure hundred times more than Srimati Radharani. Hundred times more. And everything, wherever they are, it doesn't matter. They have not to see that, okay, there is Srimati Radharani and Sri Krishna. They are there. Wherever they are, connection between Srimati Radharani and Manjari said like that, that wherever the Manjari said, if Krishna touching Srimati Radharani, how much goosebumps will appear on the body of Srimati Radharani? Hundred times more will appear on the body of Manjari. If Sri Krishna bites to the lips of Srimati Radharani, the sign will appear on the lips of most intimate manjari. So it's the connection. Here, exactly that thing that Gunatha Das Goswami is describing. Tvam rupa manjari shakhi prachita pureshmin pungsha parasya badanam mahi pashashiti Hey Rupa Manjari, everyone knows that you are a very chaste woman, very honest to your husband, but I know that your husband is not here, he went somewhere in another country. But I can see that love bite on your lips. Maybe, now she is making some fun, that Tulasi Manjari, maybe to think about your lips, some 
birds to love that very red pomegranate. So maybe they just bite to think that maybe your lips are not there, there is pomegranate. So who is that bird? Because Sakis, uh, the Manjaris, their relation is like friend. Maybe Rupa Manjari senior. Then also, their relation is like friend, like sisters. Very intimate sisters, very intimate friends. So that's why he's asking. It's very beautiful Lila. Tulasi Manjari is says reminding one very beautiful Lila with Sri Rupa Manjari. Because once it's happened, Srimati Radharani she want a new pleasure with Krishna. Because all those kunjas, it's already they meet with Krishna Betas Kunja, Keshar Kunja, and another gardens. So Srimati Radharani said want something new. And Manjaris, they can read the heart and mind of Srimati Radharani and Krishna both. Tulashi Manjari she realized. She realized that maybe Srimati Radharani she want something new. So they start to search if there is a new place where she can arrange a new meeting with Sri Radha Govinda. And she found one very beautiful cave of Giriraj. And she showed that to Rupa Manjari. Because she must accept. She must say, yes, it's okay. So, Tulashi Manjari, she saw this to Rupa Manjari. So, Rupa Manjari, okay. Now you can arrange that. Kunja of them, Sri Radha Govinda, there in the cave of Giriraj. And Tulashi Manjari, very nicely she decorated that cave. And she did not explain this to anyone other, only to Rupa Manjari. No one know that. Because she really wanted to give something new to Srimati Radha. So that's why she did not just reveal that they found a new place for their meeting. So she said that to Rupa Manjari, everything is arranged. So now you can invite Srimati Radhara there. So Rupa Manjari invite Srimati Radhara and Sri Krishna there. It was very beautiful. Tulasi Manjari decorated. So Srimati Radhara only to see that Kunja, that cave. She was very satisfied. And she got a new pleasure in her heart. Then she decided, now today I'll defeat Sri Krishna here in our love making. So Srimati Radharani, she just indicate because Manjaris, they have not to get any instruction by, by words. Srimati Radharani will look at them, so they will read what she want to say. They will get that. When Srimati Radharani look at Tulashi Manjari, so she realized, okay, now we should go out. Now we should go out. And Rupa Manjari, she said that uh, Tulashi, now it's your duty 
we must be here so i'll go to other sakhis and manjaris otherwise i have to engage them in another place otherwise they will start to search where sri radha govinda and they will come and they will disturb but you must be there here so rupa manjari she went where all the other sakhis and manjaris they are really searching where is sri krishna and shrimati radha are so rupa manjari she manages all of them and inside that cave sri radha govinda start to talk with each other it was very nice because both of them they were really satisfied there but tulasi manjari that place was so silent that tulasi manjari from outside of that cave tulasi manjari can hear everything and they start to play with each other and in that play in that game sometimes krishna he becomes tired sometimes shrimati radharani so tulasi manjari she start to sing a very new song and shrimati radharani she teaches tulasi manjari that song and that sound of that song it's not going out of kunja it's only in the kunja only very few two three manjaris only they know that song very special song it was by shrimati radharani boss sri krishna and now tulasi manjari start to sing from the outside that song to hear that song both of them they got more urge so krishna start to bite the leaves of shrimati radharani and then shrimati radharani also so did the same and it was very nice and it was so beautiful how they are enjoying that tulasi manjari was watching through a hole of that cave it was like window so she wanted to show this to rupa manjari also and she went because nobody no one knows that there is shri shri radha govind is there so tulasi manjari she went to call rupa manjari please come to see this beauty of them now they are no more two they becomes one we have to see this beauty and when tulasi manjari she found rupa manjari that rupa manjari also was coming in that cave in the direction and in between she found rupa manjari and she found that sign of sri krishna's bite on the leaves of rupa manjari so then he start to say that twang rupa manjari o oh chest woman everyone know that you are very honest to your husband then from where your husband is not here he is so distant from you so who came to you and bite your lips maybe some birds maybe some birds maybe some birds they just misunderstand your lips and think about pomegranate and they bite to your lips so when you was thinking you was meditating about this leelas again rahuna das ko sun start to cry suddenly leela was disappeared in his meditation 
and he start to cry oh radhe what's happened you are here in the cave of giriraj govardhan but now again you disappeared maybe i'm offender maybe i did some aparad to your lotus feet that's why you're not engaging me in your seva but radhe you must know that i am manjari our life is connected with you if there is no moon then the rays also will disappear the moon rays also will disappear and we are all like that very small heart very small birds chakura and we can live our life only by the drinking that nectar which is falling down from full moon hey radhe our full moon is you if you are not here then i'll die because if the full moon is not there in the sky so the no nectar will fall down so without any nectar how i can save my life so i'll die so please come to me and save my life and he start to pray to again again that lila appeared sthalakamalini yuktam garbita kananeshmin pranayashi varohasyam pushpa guchha chalena opi nikhila latasta saur bhaktya samunchan mrigayati tava margam krishna bhringya yadadya now again that lila came appeared and when that lila again appeared in the heart of raghunath das goswami so that meeting that playing was aimed that love making was aimed sri krishna was completely unconscious in the cave and srimati radharani with big pride she came out from that cave and she was going to that garden where all the other sakis manjaris are they are enjoying so raghunath dasu dasu goswam now he is praying to shrimati radharani ho oh, sthala kamalini it's very unnatural because lotus it's always appearing in the water is not lotus well well lotus is coming in the water but here raghunath dasu goswami is addressing shrimati radharani sthala kamalini sthala Solomon's in the land. Oh, land lotus, you are looking so bright. Why? Where you are going? All the sakis and manjaris there, waiting there. You are going. So why is Srimati Radharani? She was very proud that time. What's happened there? why krishna becomes very unconscious that time and say saying that mrigayati tava margam krishna bhingyo bhringo jagadto krishna is coming he is also following to you he is searching so please wait but what was happened there in the cave so we'll continue this all stories there in davos <laughs> will continue that things what happened in that cave what tulasi mandiri he saw what she want to describe to rupa mandiri and in this loka to whom he is actually praying raghunath das goswami 
tomorrow tomorrow evening isn't it tomorrow evening we will continue this katha on bilag pak kushman jai ni tai haribo